Coat of Arms of Norway The Coat of Arms of Norway is the arms of dominion of King Harald V of Norway, and as such represents both the monarch and the kingdom nation and the state. It depicts a standing golden lion on a red background, bearing a golden crown and axe with silver blade blazoned gules, a lion rampant or crowned or holding an axe or with a blade argent. The coat of arms is used by the king including the king's council, the parliament and the supreme court, which are the three powers according to the constitution. It is also used by several national, regional, and local authorities that are subordinate to the aforementioned, for example the county governors and both the district courts and the courts of appeal. Since 1905, two parallel versions exist, the more elaborate version used by the king and the simpler one used by the state. The arms in banner form serve as basis for the monarchy's flag, known as the royal standard. In addition, there are former and existing lands, e.g. the earldom of Iceland and the Orkney Islands, cities, e.g. Christian Sand, organizations, e.g. the Museum of Cultural History, companies, e.g. Adressivisen, and families, e.g. the Counts of Gilda Love and Gudbrand Gregersen, who have been granted the right to bear the coat of arms. Unless officially granted, it is illegal to use the coat of arms. The arms has its origin in the 13th century, at first just as a golden lion on a red shield, with the silver axe added late in the century symbolizing Olaf Roman II as the eternal king of Norway. In origin the arms of the Sver dynasty, the coat of arms became quartered with that of the Bialbo dynasty when the Sver lineage was extinct in 1319, and the Sver coat of arms figured as part of the further divisions of the coats of arms of Norwegian kings during the early modern period. The Sver coat of arms was regarded as representing the Norwegian monarchy in the late 15th century, and it came to be used to represent Norway on coins and in seals during the union with Denmark 1523-1814, and the 19th century personal union with Sweden, its 13th century origins placing it among the oldest state coats of arms which remain. The axe tended to be depicted as a curved pollax or halberd from 1500 until 1844. The 1844 design approved by King Oscar, I reverted to the depiction of a battle axe as shown in medieval designs. After the dissolution of the Union with Sweden in 1905, a medieval type escutcheon and charge was designed by Eilif Peterson. Peterson's design would be used until 1937, when it was redesigned by state archivist Hallvard Treteberg, resulting in a markedly different, more simplified design style. Peterson's design has, however, been retained in the Royal Standard and Coat of Arms. Usage Royal Decree of 20 May 1927 states, The coat of arms of the realm may be used only by the state's authorities in the exercise of their official activity. The coat of arms may be used by the royal court, by the government and its ministries, by the parliament, by the law courts, and by some others. Matters of the coat of arms are treated by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The state coat of arms has no achievement save the surmounting crown. The Royal Coat of Arms is defined in the Resolution of 30 December 1905. In the Coat of Arms of the Realm, a heraldic royal crown is placed directly on top of the shield. In the Royal Coat of Arms, the shield of the arms of the realm is on a mantle purple lined ermine with a royal crown on top. Three sides of the shield are surrounded by the collar of the Royal Order of St. Olaf. The following coats of arms are displayed with the collar of the Order of St. Olaf. However, not all princes and princesses are grand cross holders or, for that sake, members of this order at all, wherefore their respective coats of arms do not include this achievement. The royal standard of Norway is the Norwegian arms in banner form. Achievements including the royal arms, history, origin. The design of the coat of arms is derived from that of the Sverre dynasty. Holvar Treteberg in 1814 suggested that Sverre, who was king between 1184 and 1202, had a lion in his coat of arms, although there is no direct attestation. Snorra Sturlason claims that a golden lion on a red background was used already in 1103 by King Magnus Roman III, 
the son of King Olav Roman III. Gustav Storm in 1894 concluded that this is ahistorical. Storm explained that the claimed lion in King Magnus's coat of arms is unknown both in the older saga literature and in other contemporary sources. It is possible that Snorra, who wrote under the instruction of the king, attributed King Sverre's coat of arms to earlier kings of Norway. A lion is shown on the coat of arms in the seal of Earl Skjulbardsson, dated 1225, who had relations to the royal family. Hakan Hakansson the Old had a lion in his seal, shown as lying between the feet of the seated king. A royal coat of arms with a lion is finally seen on the seal of Hakan Hakansson, the young dated 1250. The first instance of the lion bearing an axe is found in a seal of Eric Roman II, 1285. Medieval Seals Approximately in 1280, either King Magnus VI dead in 1280, or the guardianship of his son Eric Magnusson, let the lion be equipped with a crown of gold, and in the foremost paws an axe of silver. The axe was a symbol of St. Olaf i.e., King Olaf Roman II, and by inserting it into the coat of arms it symbolized that the king was the rightful heir and descendant of the eternal king of Norway Latin, Rex Perpetus Norvegi. Late Medieval Coats of Arms With the death of King Haakon V in 1319, the reign of the Sverre dynasty came to an end. The throne and thus the royal coat of arms was inherited by Magnus Roman VII, who was a maternal grandson of Haakon V and who himself belonged patrilineally to the family known as the Bealbo dynasty. Subsequently, Norway remained in personal union with neighboring countries. When acting as the ruler of one particular country, the sovereign would normally use the arms of that kingdom. When acting as sovereign of the United Kingdoms, he would marshal the escutcheon by quartering. This was a tendency in Europe in general. The first Union kings placed the royal coat of arms in the first quarter of the quartered coat of arms. At the beginning of the Kalmar Union, Norway as a hereditary kingdom was considered more important than Sweden and Denmark, which were still electoral kingdoms. Consequently, King Eric Roman III of Pomerania placed his Norwegian coat of arms in an inescutcheon, superimposed on the coats of arms of his other realms. However, the Norwegian coat of arms would later be degraded, so that the coat of arms of Denmark would occupy the first field, whilst Norway's was placed in the second. Marshaled versions from 1450 until 1814. In 1450, Count Christian of Oldenburg and of Dilmenhorst became king of Norway. He was already king of Denmark since 1448, and in 1457, he became king of Sweden as well. Norway's coat of arms was placed in the lower Dexter field, and when Sweden left the Kalmar Union in 1523, in the upper sinister field. The latter lasted until 1814. Varying from time to time, the kings between 1450 and 1814 bore the coats of arms of the following kingdoms, peoples and lands, County of Oldenburg, Kingdom of Denmark, Kingdom of Sweden, Kingdom of Norway, A, Norway, 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 of Norway, 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 Goths, Duchy of Schleswig, Duchy of Holstein, Stormarn, Fifmarstjen, Arstjen, Dilmenhorst, etc. Marshaled versions from 1814 until 1905. On 4 November 1814, the Norwegian Storting elected King Charles Roman XIII of Sweden as King of Norway. This personal union with Sweden lasted until the dissolution of the union between Norway and Sweden in 1905. Without legitimate heirs of the body, King Charles adopted the French Marshal Bernadotte, Prince of Pontecorvo, who took the name Karl, Johan. The union arms introduced by King Charles Roman XIII and Crown Prince Karl, Johan were never used officially in Norway. Only the lion coat of arms of Norway appeared on coins and on seals of official documents signed by the king in his capacity as Norwegian king. The union arms introduced by King Oscar I in 1844 was used by members of the royal family, 
by the common diplomatic service of both kingdoms, and on official documents concerning both countries. In Norway, the Union arms was never used on coins or official documents. In Sweden, crown princes and princes bore the coat of arms belonging to his duchy. See duchies in Sweden, but these titles and arms were never used in Norway. Since 1814, the halberd was officially discarded and the shorter axe reintroduced by royal order in Council 10 July 1844, when an authorized design was instituted for the first time. On 14 December 1905, the official design for royal and government arms was again changed, this time reverting to the medieval pattern, with a triangular escutcheon and a more upright heraldic lion. The painter Isle of Peterson was responsible for the design. Through centuries and following changing fashions in heraldry and arts, the coat of arms has appeared in several ways in the matter of design, shape, and so on. In the late Middle Ages, the axe handle gradually grew longer and came to resemble a halberd. The handle was usually curved in order to fit the shape of the escutcheon or the changing union quarterings preferred at the time, and also to match the shape of coins. The coat of arms has also been used by subordinate state authorities and in semi-official contexts, such as on banknotes. Literature P. Peterson Historisk heraldisk fremstilling f congregate norges vaben, oxams of bildening i banner, flag, minter og sigular, Christiania 1836, Gustav Storm, norges gamel vaben, farver og flag, Christiania 1894, chr, brinchman, norsk konge sigular og andre feist sigular from middle alderin, Christiania 1924, pal brido grandian, Det Dansk Grigsvaben, Copenhagen, 1926. Holvard Treteberg, Norges Statsymbol or until 1814, Historisk Skrift Vol. 29, No. 8 and 9. Oslo, 1933. Holvard Treteberg, Norges Vabemurker. Norsk by Agadelsvaben, published by Kaf Hag, Oslo, 1933. Holvard Treteberg, Norges Krone og Vapen. I fest script till Francis Bulpa 50 R. Stagen, Oslo 1937. Holvard Treteberg, The Coat of Arms of Norway, The American Scandinavian Review, June 1964. Holvard Treteberg, Det Norsk Konjavape and Igeller Vape Boka, Heraldisk Script, Vol 3, No 23 P. 126 FF. Copenhagen, 1970 74 and 4. Holvard Treteberg, Norges Vapen i Ingelsk Kilder i Middelalder in Heraldisk Hidskrift, Vol 3, No. 21 p. 29 ff. Copenhagen, 1970 74, Anti 4. Odd Fjord Home, Am Alphabet Til Det Norsk Love Vapen, and Historiographisk Framstilling, Heraldisk Hidskrift, p. 31 minus 41, Copenhagen, 1984, Hans Kapelin, Harold at Pan Norsk Freimaker, Oslo, 1988. Harold Nissen, Det Norsk Konjavapnet, Haraldisk Tidskrift, Valten No. 91, Copenhagen, March 2005. Hans Kapelin, Norge I, 1905. Gamelt Riksvapen Agnit Konjavapen, Haraldisk Tidskrift, Valten No. 94, Copenhagen, October 2006. Tom Sver Vathom Helig Olavs Ox Som Norsk Symbol, Heraldisk Tidskrift, Vol 11 No. 102, Copenhagen, October 2010, p. 59 82.